Well, we've heard a lot about what 9-11 changed over the past decade, but one of the things it reinforced is the close bond between Canadians and Americans. That's something U.S. President Barack Obama wrote about in a thank you letter to the Prime Minister today. How we came to the aid of our neighbor and friend, from stranded airline passengers renewing friendships 10 years later, to the unbreakable bond between first responders that has grown even stronger. CTV's Louise Hartland has the story of the friendship of two communities thousands of kilometers apart. That was um, the uh, uh, mother of one of the firefighters uh, who died. It has been a long time since Langford Fire Chief Bob Beckett has looked at these pictures. Shortly after the terror attacks, he retired RCMP Staff Sergeant Bruce Brown and Langford Mayor Stu Young decided to do something. They called a small fire department just outside of New York City in Freeport, Long Island. And uh, they, didn't, they, they didn't hesitate at all. They said, we would love to have you down. Uh, we can't thank you enough for uh, recognizing the, the challenges that we're going to be facing and we would love your support and we made arrangements um, to, to fly down uh, the next day. The Freeport Fire Department lost five men that day. In the 24 hours before the men from Langford traveled to New York, they collected $20,000, bursary money for the children who lost their parents in the tragedy. It just, just by being there, I think, and, and recognizing that this was uh, a small Canadian community that had rallied behind them was, uh, was uh, enough uh, for them. Dressed in his red serge with Beckett in his dress uniform, the Langford trio drew a lot of attention. And we got a lot of people approaching us um, to thank Canadians for coming there and showing support. Brown, Beckett and Young attended funerals, visited fire halls and met family members of some of the 343 firefighters who died when the Twin Towers fell. I mean, you can see the, um, the sadness and, and the, uh, I think the shock was still on their faces. They took this ferry to Ground Zero to see the damage firsthand. On the boat, loved ones of those lost. Because as you were standing there, there were still fires burning. There were pieces of paper floating down from buildings adjacent to the World Trade Center that had been damaged. Uh, so it was, it was still very, uh, very raw and so are the memories. But the bond with the firefighters from Freeport that welcomed them with open arms has never been broken. And by the looks of it, it never will. Louise Hartland, CTV News, Langford.